Now let's look at sales tax, commissions, and discounts. So to fill in the blank, one earns a commission when one is paid a percent of sales. For instance, um, car salesmen or um, some retail people or pharmaceutical reps, they all get paid a commission. A discount is an amount subtracted from an original price. And sales tax is a percent of the purchase price of an item which is paid to a government. So we're going to be looking at uh, various problems that involve commission, discounts, and sales tax. So here's our first problem. Number five, the sales tax rate in Arizona is 5.6%. How much tax is charged on the purchase of six, C six CDs at $18 a piece? And what is the total price? So again, they're asking us two, uh, two different things, so we have to make sure we have two answers. So the first thing we're going to have to find out is what is the total purchase price? because we have six CDs at $18 a piece. So the first thing I've got to figure out is six times the 18. That's going to be the total purchase price. And six times 18 is $108. So this is the total amount before tax. Now this doesn't answer either question because it says how much tax is charged is the first question and what is the total price. So this is before tax, but we have to start here before we can calculate the tax. So now I need to take my $108 and I have to find 5.6% of that $108 and that's going to give me the amount of tax. So 108 times, remember we want to convert that to a decimal, so we're going to multiply it by, I'm going to move my decimal point two times, so 0 0.056. And that gives me, and I have to round, we are talking money, so just round to the nearest cent, so it would be $6.00 and five cents. Now remember this is the amount of tax. This is not how much we're paying total. We're not getting these for six dollars and five cents. That would be a really good um, sale if we were. So that is the amount of tax. So that actually answers the first part to the question. How much tax? Now to find the total I'm going to take my purchase price of one hundred eight dollars and add my sales tax and that's going to be my total price after tax. Or you can say including tax. So $108 plus $6.05 is going to give me $114.05 cents is the total after tax. And I think we have now answered both questions. How much tax is charged on the purchase? That was $6.05. And what is the total price, which is how much I'm going to have to pay? $114.05. Now let's look at this one. Katura earns $57 selling $380 worth of books. What is her commission rate? So we don't know the percent in this problem. So commission, sometimes it's helpful to write it out in words, what you're going to be doing mathematically, equals the commission rate, or the percent, multiplied by sales. So when I look at what I have here, the information that I have, I have 
earns $57, so it looks like the rate, or I'm sorry, the commission is 57 I don't know the rate, but whatever the rate is, I know I have to multiply that by the sales, which was $380. Well, in order to find the rate, it looks like I'm going to have to divide, because how do you solve a multiplication equation? By dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 380, because i got to get the rate by itself. That's going to give me a rate, and I could use a variable to represent the rate. I'm just choosing to keep it as a word. 57 divided by 380 gives me 0.15, which is the same thing as 15%. So it looks like Keturah gets 15% of the sales. Now we've got a table and we need to fill in the missing numbers and we're not going to do all of these, we're just going to pick a couple. So the first one I want to look at is actually number 13. So 13, we have a marked price of $120 and we have a rate of discount of 20%. So I don't know how much of a discount that is, so I've got to figure that out. And once I figure that out, I can write down the sale price. So again, I think it's helpful to write it out in words. So we're going to have the marked price times the rate is going to equal the amount of discount. So the marked price we have is $120. We're going to multiply that by the rate, which is 20%, but I'm going to convert it to a decimal, which is going to be 0 0.20. And this is going to be my discount. So 120 times 0 0.20 is 24, and this is money. So my discount is $24. Now remember, that is not how much you are paying for the item. That is how much of a discount you have. So the sale price is going to be the marked price. minus the discount equals the sale price. So $120 minus 24 is going to be 96. So the sale price is 96. Now let's look at another problem. Let's look at 15 because it has different pieces missing. So 15, we have a rate of discount, and we have how much the discount is, but I'm missing the marked price. So if you recall from the first problem, marked price times the rate. So I don't know the marked price, so I'm just going to let that be M, times the rate. The rate I do know is 30%, so that's going to be 0 .30 after I change it to a decimal, and that's going to equal... $33.60. So how do you solve a multiplication equation? You divide. And since we want to get in by itself, we're going to divide both sides by the 0 .30 because then those cancel. That's why we're dividing by the 0 .30. And that's going to leave me with M equals 3360 divided by 0 .30, dollars. So the marked price was originally $112. So now to find the sale price, remember that's the marked price, which is 112 minus the discount, which is 3360 and that's going to be
$78.40. See if I can write that a little bit better. It looks a little sloppy. There we go. $78.40 is your final sale price.